Hey guys, so we're back here in the garage now and a bit different this time. We are doing rotary things. So we got our RX7FD and my mate here Richie with his 13B. So a bit of background on this. Um, Richie bought it, uh, stored it here, then needed money for a holiday, so sold it to me. Then the holiday fell through and then <laughs> I had it for a bit and then uh, long story short then I sold it back to Richie but he still keeps it here so today now we're going to help him uh, get the engine and gearbox in and then we can start getting a bit more content on this thing so let's get to it okay so uh, a little bit of uh, basket seal on this Done, done. Right, just gonna use the OEM blanking plates to cover these up because obviously these are my own possible to do when yeah. this is in the car. Placing these old crusties with um, new zinc stuff. There are. Just going to go on up ahead, change everything here now to the fresh bolts, and then we'll uh, get on to lifting it up. Yeah. <laughs> 
Tap, tap. I'm taking. All the way down. Chin. Sweet. Easy. Easy. <laughs> Not too bad. No. Fucking hell, it's tiny. Yeah, look how much room's in there. I'll get this out of the way. That's insane. Look how much of room's around the gearbox. <laughs> Nothing massive compared to the S15. I think there might be tighter armor on that. Land, it? You'd never get that room in between the back of the block and the bulkhead, would you, on, a, on an yeah. SR? Unbelievable. Yeah. Alright, let's get rid of this. You could literally undo the gearbox bolts from like behind the engine. Yeah. <laughs> so, and of the gap there's so the, much the room. Yeah. As well. it's, it's as if there's nothing to it. Yeah. We were worrying about you know the manifold later on. Yeah. But look, you can get to that all day. Yeah. Massive. Can't really room. see with the light on this, but yeah, chill. there's there's loads of room. Yeah. Nice. Right. So we jacked uh, one side of it up. Two axle stands. We're going to look to attach this power brace then. Uh, if you're not aware, these power braces run attached to the gearbox and they run through and they attach to the diff. So, just looking to sorting that out. And whilst Richie does that, I'm going to pop down in here and uh, show you a little uh, boo boo I've done. So, guys, I'm in the pit. Um, all I'm having issue wise with um, since I fitted my new front wheels is on lock it's hitting um, my new side skirts like catching it quite bad uh, and it's also hitting the front uh, of the bumper which isn't too much of an issue I just need to clearance it but what I wanted to check was um, these I've got M3 eccentric bushes um, and a what it should do, I wasn't sure if I installed them incorrectly because it's been quite a while since I fitted these, but the hole has got to be to the outside. So as you can see, that's um, what are we? That's driver's side, and um, so that has got to be on the outside. And by doing so, if you can think, it goes like that, which pushes your wheel more forward for the clearance. Just wanted to check they are correct so what i've got to do is just cut more a lot more cut in so all right guys richie's got the power brace on now just uh attached to the diff and the gearbox uh missing a few bolts so we'll have to source them i've been pulling this thing to bits so got these back off quickly um as you can see that's no good there, it's catching everything. So I'm gonna to have to cut this. Also trim some of that off. And the same on the on the back edge here. I don't know if you can see this side. It's mega, mega tight, so I'm gonna to have to watch uh, some of that now, but I should got a lot of clearance to do it. I can test the lock then and uh and move that.
Okay. So, pop the skirt off, clearance aside here. I've took more rather than that stepping out. I've just took it straight down following that radius. So, I'll uh, put it back on the stand here and I'll try to uh, turn it in its lock and see if you can, you can see it's true. side which I haven't done so we should be okay so right that would be it for this video guys um, as always I'll jump over the other side do the clearances and then we are ready to take this out on a little test drive so it'll be the first time out in quite a while so so as always thanks for watching thanks for subscribing I'll catch you on the next one.